In the early years of aviation, engineers were all about building fixed-wing aircraft with two main wings stacked one above the other. Aircraft of this configuration were called biplanes. Today, this configuration definitely looks dated, but then it was perfect for working around the technical limitations of that era. As a general rule, biplanes had excellent maneuverability and handled really well. On the other hand, they weren't nearly as fast as monoplanes that eventually put biplanes out of business. Today, though, it's all about biplanes. We're going to talk about the best aircraft of this type in War Thunder. It's important to note that most biplanes are immediately available to all pilots, even complete beginners. They're ready to surprise you with their excellent performance right from the get-go. We'll start with the British Gladiator Mark II and the J-8A, a Swedish license-built variant of the Gladiator. This biplane isn't that fast, but its low stalling speed means that it handles really well, even at low speeds. This is also a biplane with flaps, making it pretty agile in combat. It also has decent firepower as it's armed with four Browning machine guns. Sure, that's nothing to write home about, but it's definitely on par with comparable designs. The Swedish variant is slightly better, though. Then we have the J-11, an all-metal biplane which was a modified Swedish variant of the Italian Fiat CR-42. At the time, the original aircraft was one of the best biplanes on the market, so it's no surprise that it became a big hit with foreign customers, including the Swedish Armed Forces. It's worth noting that the J-11 isn't very big on pilot safety, with only the engine, the oil tank, and self-sealing fuel tanks shielding them from enemy bullets. Yeah, you have 10 millimeters of steel in the pilot seat, but that's about it. That's not to say that the plane itself can't take any punishment. On the contrary, the fuselage is very robust. In fact, the aircraft can still fly pretty well even after sustaining considerable damage. Furthermore, the J-11 is armed with 12.7mm ACAN M40 machine guns that can easily set your targets on fire with tracer and stealth ammo. All in all, this is a really good pick for early air battles, especially if you're good at using altitude to your advantage. In the third place, we have the F-3F-2, the only biplane fighter in the American tech tree, and also one of the fastest biplanes at its BR. At low altitudes, this little fellow can go up to 396 kilometers an hour. If it's flying in a straight line, it can easily outrun many of its opponents. It's also pretty good at climbing. It takes only three and a half minutes to get to 3,000 meters. But it's even more impressive in a dogfight thanks to its high maneuverability and really impressive turn rate. We told you, the enemy's not getting away from this one. The silver goes to the CR-32 BIS. This is an Italian premium vehicle and the second Fiat aircraft known for its excellent performance featured on our list. It's not as fast as some of its counterparts, partially because it makes use of a float-type carburetor that limits its movement capabilities, but the aircraft is highly maneuverable and sturdy. It's an all-metal biplane, so it's pretty hard to shoot down. In fact, the CR-32 can take more damage than most and still make it back to base in one piece. The fighter also packs a punch with two 12.7mm and two 7.7mm Breda Safat machine guns at its disposal. It can easily tear a wing off or light enemy fuel takes on fire with even a short burst. Finally, the undisputed champion of the biplane world is the Soviet I-153, also known as the Chaika, meaning seagull. This is the fastest biplane in War Thunder, but it's also one of the most maneuverable aircraft in the game. It can't take a lot of punishment as it's made out of wood, but the I-153 has enough firepower to hold its own. It's armed with four 7.62mm SHKAS machine guns that have a fast enough fire rate to literally tear enemy wings off in the blink of an eye. Needless to say, that works wonders in a dogfight. The Chaika also has no problem participating in mixed battles, as it has access to a variety of suspended armaments. We're pretty sure that you'll love armor-busting RBS-82 rockets. Furthermore, there's an upgunned variant of the Chaika in the game, 
armed with 20 mm SHVAK cannons. This bird is terrifying in a dogfight. When it comes to turn fighting, even monoplanes should be hesitant to challenge its superiority, even though most of them have a higher top speed. Did we mention any of your favorite designs? What biplanes do you like the most? Tell us in the comments below.